there's this thing that happens. Sometimes people call me up and they say, hey, my kid is turning into a monster. They uh, can't be reasoned with, they're defiant, they're rude, they're just terrible. Um, how do we help those people? Yeah, so um, as a counselor who works mostly with an adult population and as a marriage and family therapist, I believe that it's a systemic problem. And so it's not just the kid that needs help, it is also the, the family um, and essentially the parents. And so a lot of times I will encourage the parents to start coming to therapy and also getting the child to a wonderful child psychologist or therapist. Um, there are many at the Kevin Owen Clinic. And so I will encourage though the parents to also seek counseling for their issues within parenting because there's a lot of times the things that the parents are doing that need to be changed and um, shifted that will positively impact the kiddos. So I had a kid come in and sit on my couch because their, their mom brought them in and uh, they're just becoming unmanageable. And I asked him, I said, what's, what's going on in your life? What's, what did you say your biggest problem is or challenge is? And he said, my parents keep yelling at me. <laughs> That's what they thought the problem was because what's happening in the communication is they're not catching what's being communicated. They're just seeing the reaction or the response. Parents, if what you're doing isn't working, do something different. And if you need to figure out a new way of communicating, well, most of us didn't get a, a great manual on how to parent your specific child because your specific child's gonna have specific needs. Uh, and so learning new ways of changing the communication pattern is huge. Huge, yeah. And sometimes we parent from the only way we know how, which is how we were parented, or the extreme opposite. I'll never do what my parents do. And inadvertently, we do what our parents did. And so a lot of times it's as parents understanding what your um, parenting system is and how to change for the outcomes that you wish to see. So. Some insight into what we're saying and what we're doing and whether or not they match. Uh, every now and then kids become overwhelmed by inconsistent messages. You're grounded, give me your phone. Here's your phone back because you're noisy and you're bothering me. Um, grades are important, but uh, I don't, I'm not gonna follow through or ask you about your grades unless I'm getting an email saying that you're you're struggling. Uh, you can't send inconsistent messages and expect a child or a teenager to interpret that. Uh, give them a little help and communicate with them. Absolutely, that makes me think about, just as a parent myself, um, how important it is to model healthy behaviors to our kiddos. Um, and we can't expect our kids to know how to handle their emotions or know how to handle even conflict resolution if we ourselves don't know how to do it. So um, modeling is a big part of what I do with parents in the process of helping them in the system get healthy. Say no to your kids. It's okay. They need to hear it. And if you say it, mean it. And if you say it and there's a consequence, follow through with it. Mm -hmm. uh, help them to be people who can hear a no and receive a no and move on as otherwise they'll become unruly adults uh, or, or as teenagers, they'll become giant toddlers. So setting those boundaries, that, that will help too. And then parents come see me or Kevin. Uh, if, uh, if you need help with that stuff, yes, please come see us. We'd love to help.